On this problem, we have a logarithmic equation that we'd like to solve down. You will notice that we don't have just a single natural log on each side. We have two separate natural logs on the left-hand side. So the first thing I would probably do is go ahead and combine these into a single natural log. So it's going to be a natural log on the left-hand side because we have positive in front of the first one. That 3 from the inside is going to end up in the numerator. But overall, we have the subtraction going on here. So that negative in front of the second natural log tells me that the 3 minus 3x goes in the denominator of this single logarithm. Bring along the right-hand side the natural log of 4. Now we've created a situation where we have a single log on the left side and a single log on the right side. And they're both the same. They're both natural logs. So we are allowed to drop the natural logs and set what's on the inside equal to one another. The reason behind why we're allowed to do this is because if we use e as a base and bump that natural log up into the exponent and do the same thing on the right-hand side, e to a power and natural log, which is log base e, we've matched up inverse functions and composed them together. All right, so we're going to get this very nice canceling out, as I mentioned. We get 3 over 3 minus 3x in this case equals 4. And we just need to solve this equation that no longer involves logarithms. Shouldn't be too bad. We're trying to solve for x, so we can't solve for x while it's in the denominator. So let's go ahead and we want to multiply to eliminate this denominator on the left-hand side. But we're also going to have to multiply the right-hand side by the same thing. Being consistent, doing the same thing to both sides of our equation. Multiplying by 3 minus 3x. And dividing by 3 minus 3x are inverses, so they'll cancel. So we'll be left with that numerator. The 3 can come down on the left-hand side. A little bit of distributing on the right-hand side. We'll do 4 times 3 makes 12. And then 4 times negative 3x is going to be minus 12x. All right, all that remains in this equation is we've got to a linear equation. We want to get all the x's on one side all the constants to the other side, and then get x by itself. So since all the x's are on the right-hand side, my next step is going to be moving this 12 to the other side by subtracting it. 12 minus 12 makes 0. And on the left-hand side, we'll have 3 minus 12 makes negative 9. Bring along our negative 12x on the right-hand side, and wrap this up by dividing both sides by negative 12, to get 1x on the right-hand side. All right, this can simplify down just a little bit, right? We've got our negative 12 over negative 12 makes 1x on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, we can simplify. A negative divided by another negative makes a positive. And then 9 and 12 each have a factor of 3 in common. So we can simplify that to 3 over 4. So I hope this helps out. Remember, combine those logs together first and then work on eliminating them. Get into an equation that you are comfortable with solving. Good luck.